beloved in Christ. You know, we hear so much about purpose. And God is a God of purpose. A matter of fact, He raised you and I up for a purpose. There's a purpose that God has placed in our life. Outside of what we might do as a career or uh, uh, being um, a... Uh, a spouse to someone or a mother or father to someone there is a greater purpose that God has called us into when he called us into the kingdom of God and you and I have to be able to connect with that purpose in order that our lives might be fulfilled God's Word says in Romans 9 and the seventh begin at 17th verse and this is Paul writing about the reason that Pharaoh was called and the purpose that Pharaoh had in uh, the working of God in this earth. Look what he says, for the scripture says Pharaoh even for this purpose have I raised thee up. This is God uh, saying, uh, sharing this with Pharaoh, I raise you up for this purpose, that I might show my power in thee, that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. When God was uh, using his authority and power to reign upon the, the children of Egypt because of the, uh, the way that Pharaoh was not letting God's people go. And so Moses and Aaron stood before Pharaoh and God's power and authority fell against a Pharaoh. But Pharaoh was raised up just for that purpose. Beloved, I think of how God has done so much in our lives. And he does that that he might be able to declare who he is in the earth. That is your purpose. That either you are declaring who God is in this earth through your life, through your deeds, through your support of God's work. Beloved, you are declaring the power and the authority of God in this earth. You are literally making God real in this earth because he is working through you to perform his purpose and not our own purpose but his purpose. And as the word says, therefore had he had mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will, he harden it. Beloved, there are some people today whose heart has been hardened. No different than the heart of Pharaoh. Beloved, God has a free will to have mercy on whom he desire to have mercy or to harden the heart of individuals. Beloved, we serve a loving God. We serve a just God. But we serve a God, beloved, that is omniscient and knoweth everything that is to know. So, beloved, we need to find our purpose in what God desired for us to do. Because you have a purpose, I have a purpose. And we need to walk in it that we might fulfill our destiny in this life. Beloved, be blessed in Jesus' name.